Oh, to be honest, I think the impact on the average citizen would be almost imperceptible, apart from the fact that things are going to cost more. People don't realise, I guess, uh, exactly where their taxes are going. Um, and, you know, I think the workings, the inner workings of government and how they shuffle funds around to pay for some of these dopey ideas are, are pretty opaque and probably invisible to most people. You may find that data charges go up, but in the short term, um, I think most people won't know any change at all, and that's what makes these programs so dangerous, is that it's not that a little, you know, a warning bubble goes up when somebody's capturing your data or when it's being analysed or when somebody's collected it from the phone company. People are, are remain completely in the dark, actually, as to how these systems operate. And the government's been quite right in the sense where they've been saying, look, the data retention scheme um, didn't expand the powers of the agencies. If anything, it actually narrowed the range of agencies that had access to material. But what it is doing, obviously, is creating this vast new data pool that doesn't exist today, that within a couple of years will exist, for the kind of open season on metadata that already exists um, to, to go to work on. It's, it's a huge new pools of material that can be mined and analysed and mapped together. Uh, if... Um, if you rely on public interest journalism, if you think that whistleblowers exposing corruption are important, even if you are not one of those yourself, if you believe that people should have a right to demonstrate against uh, fossil fuel developments, uranium mines whaling uh, without sort of being arbitrarily surveilled and punished by the state, uh, then we actually all have a stake in these things. So even if it's not... Um, immediately impacting on us as, as individuals, which is a sort of rule of thumb, look, I've, I'm not doing anything wrong, I've got nothing to hide, I don't have anything to fear. It's not actually how democracies function, and nor, and nor should they function that way.